The Dark Knight is supposedly dead in Gotham Knights. We'll know in a few months exactly how true that is. But even though we're not going to be able to play as him, or so developer WB Games Montreal says, the characters that are going to take center stage have plenty going on, which makes them compelling in their own right. Both in terms of story and gameplay possibilities. Four members of the Bat Family will take the spotlight in the upcoming open world action RPG. And here, we're going to focus entirely on Batgirl, aka Barbara Gordon. Pretty much every major character in the Batman universe has a tragic past. The suffering and traumatic past events are far too common in anything and everything to do with Batman. But Barbara Gordon has most major characters beat on that front. And it's exactly that traumatic past and the way she seems to have recovered from it that makes her such an intriguing character in Gotham Knights. The past we keep referring to, of course, is the encounter that paralyzes her and puts her in a wheelchair. The legendary graphic novel, The Killing Joke, widely regarded as one of the greatest Batman stories of all time, sees Barbara Gordon transition from her traditional role as Batgirl to something else. As the daughter of Gotham City's police commissioner, James Gordon, Barbara Gordon's path into crime fighting is easy to trace, as is her connection to Bruce Wayne, but in her early days, she was actually quite different from most of the characters surrounding her. While characters like Batman and Jim Gordon were tortured, brooding heroes, as Batgirl, Barbara Gordon was much more upbeat. Of course, that all changed when she was attacked by the Joker in the aforementioned The Killing Joke. Though Barbara herself wasn't a major presence in the story, she ended up being a crucial plot device nonetheless. Oh, don't pass out just yet. Come on. Show a little spy. <laughs> just wait till your father gets home. He's going to be furious about all this mess. With the Joker using her in his vendetta against Gordon and Batman by shooting her and rendering her paralyzed. Following that, Barbara is deeply depressed for quite some time. Though eventually, she adopts the Oracle persona. Though she is no longer capable of physically fighting criminals by Batman's side, as Oracle, she can still put her excellent intellect to use and provide crucial backup and behind-the-scenes support to his crime-fighting operations. This, incidentally, was the Oracle we saw in the Arkham games. Though Warner Bros. also remains insistent that Gotham Knights is set in its own universe, and continuity doesn't serve as a sequel to Arkham Knight. That, of course, means that there's plenty that WB Games Montreal can do with Barbara's backstory and history in the game without having to worry about any inconsistencies with past stories. And though we obviously won't know the full extent of that until we've played the game, some crucial details about her past have been confirmed. We know that she was once Batgirl, but that a face-off with an enemy that hasn't been named, but is obviously the Joker, put her in a wheelchair, forcing her to adopt the Oracle persona and become the communications and intelligence expert for the Bat Family. We also know that James Gordon is supposedly dead in Gotham Knights, having died sometime after Batman's supposed death. Interestingly, her father's death spurred Barbara to action, and she undertook extensive training and physical rehabilitation to return to fitness to the extent that she's now returned to the Batgirl persona. That means that she's not fully capable of putting all of her considerable physical skills to use, while also having all of her hacking and technological skills at her disposal from her Oracle days. There's a lot to unpack here. In terms of gameplay, having a Batman-esque character who's also an expert when it comes to hacking and technology can make for an interesting take on what's become a well-worn gameplay style. Gotham Knights is going to have plenty of similarities to the Arkham games where combat, stealth, and traversal are concerned, and Batgirl is perhaps going to be the closest to how Batman used to play in those games. Given her set of skills and abilities, with her technological capabilities potentially being an interesting wrinkle in that loop. Beyond that, 
However, especially from a story perspective, Barbara Gordon's history in Gotham Knights raises some interesting questions. Like, was it the Joker who paralyzed this rendition of the character as well? Or is developer WB Games Montreal going to play around with a well-known story and change some crucial elements? Like who put Barbara in the wheelchair? To make it more integral to the game's story. For instance, could the Court of Owls, which is the villainous organization taking center stage in the game, have had something to do with what happened to Barbara in the past? Of course, the most interesting questions her backstory in Gotham Knights raises have to do with her father, Jim Gordon. More specifically, with the fact that he's supposedly dead. Obviously, there's no shortage of people who are skeptical about Gordon being dead as they are about Bruce Wayne being dead. But even if we assume that their deaths were faked for some reason or another, we're still left with a lot of questions. What caused Gordon's supposed death? The Court of Owls, presumably? Is he going to come back at some point? Will rescuing him become a pivotal part of the story and, in turn, of Barbara's own personal arc throughout the game? It would certainly make a lot of sense to head in that direction, seeing as the personal stakes for one of the main playable characters would be so much higher in that scenario. It would also be interesting to see how, or if, the game decides to deal with Barbara's struggles with her injuries, and how she managed to get past them. There's no shortage of people out there who feel very strongly that Barbara Gordon's character was treated poorly and is little more than a plot device in The Killing Joke. So to see her pulling herself back up and getting back into the action is pretty heartening, to say the least. If, however, the game decides to dive deeper into that, her recovery and rehabilitation could become that much more meaningful, and leave quite an imprint on her personal arc. One way or another, it's clear that there's plenty going on with Batgirl. Her past has been filled with ups and downs, to say the least, and Gotham Knights is not only making use of that past for its own story, it's also adding to it with James Gordon's supposed death, Barbara's subsequent recovery, and her transition from Oracle back into Batgirl. Alongside the Red Hood, aka Jason Todd, she might just be one of the more interesting characters in the game. Of course, we're going to reserve judgment until we've played the game, because whether or not WB Games Montreal can make good on the potential here depends entirely on how the game decides to tell its story. But Batman fans have every reason to be intrigued by how Gotham Knights is handling Batgirl's character, and where her own story could be headed in the game. Did you know? We at Gaming Bolt upload new videos every day. Stick around, drop a like, subscribe, and let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.